hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing great so today's recipe i'm going to be cooking goat feet aka marching ground <laughs> i know some people eat it like where they come from but i've never eaten it elsewhere so i'm just going to prepare it the way they prepare it uh, like where i come from okay and it's basically prepared like ishewu or unkwab if you're familiar with those dishes this is almost something like that but we're using good feet guys i know it sounds funny but trust me on this it's very very delicious very delicious so you can also add it as one of your christmas recipe if you're looking for something different to cook okay so let's start cooking these are the ingredients i'm going to be using chopped goat feet stock fish stock fish is optional scotch bonnet onions salt beef seasoning all purple seasoning dried otazi leaves crayfish ground crayfish bicarbonate soda if you've got a cow use a cow in place of this and some palm oil so let's start cooking The onion is optional, you know, like if you're making ishewu or kobe, most people don't use onions, but I like onions in mine, okay? So I'll just add a little bit of water, just tiny bit, yeah. Then I'll cook it for about 30 minutes, then I'll come back and add some water. I would normally use my pressure cooker to cook this, but for the sake of this video, I'm just cooking it on my burner so let me taste for salt I'm adding the salt now because we know that all purple seasoning has a lot of salt so that's why I always do this so now I'll cover it and allow it to cook further until the meat is really really soft almost falling off the bones yeah this is soft enough okay i'm just going to add the um the dry potassium simply because it's dried otherwise i would have just left it till the end okay because I just want it to soften a bit. So I'm going to dissolve this bicarbonate soda first. So put some oil. Sorry, my oil was cuddling.
So I'm going to add the crayfish. A sliced onion. ground crayfish because we we'll actually use crayfish to thicken you know the sauce for this recipe okay so you can see Okay, at this point, you can actually put it back on the burner to heat it up more, but, but if you don't want to, you can also still have it because it's ready. I'm just going to add basil for garnishing. This basil is frozen, so that's why it's looking like this. But it's just for garnishing and nothing more. Taste. Guys, I'm serving this with palm wine. Like if you don't know what palm wine is, <laughs> you have not started. Because for this dish, it's a local dish. There is nothing like cutlery. Do not do that. Wash your hands. Just do exactly what I did. And then wash it down with palm wine. After this now, I'm just going to put my feet up and rest. So, that is it guys. Thank you so much for staying till the end of this video. You know, I'll see you in my next one. As always, Professor signing up.